Hi guys, Mrs. A here. Today we're going to do something different. Uh, we're going to do some algebra using manipulatives um, and we're going to use algebra tiles uh, for this. So we're going to factor quadratics using algebra tiles. So often these are used in elementary. Um, we have this piece, this piece, and this piece here. And um, in elementary, we usually use these as base 10. So this is a, a 1, this is a 10, and this is 100. So instead, we're going to keep this as a 1, but we're going to call this x. And then we're going to call this, because it's x times x, x squared. So this is x squared, this is x, and this is a 1. And that's the rest representation we're going to use to um, help us fa uh, factor these expressions using the manipulatives. So the questions that we have here, our first one is uh, x squared minus 3x plus 2. And we want to factor this using the tiles. So I have my multiplication table here and we're going to use this just like we use a multiplication table where we multiply the top by the side. And the question had a 1x squared in it and then it had minus 3x. So that's three negative x's. Notice how I'm using the red side to show a negative. And then we had plus 2. So I'm going to use the positive 2, like this. And we need to arrange this in the multiplication table um, so that we get a complete rectangle with no holes. So this is the opposite of expanding the uh, binomials. So if you want to go watch that video first, that may help you to understand the factoring a little better because this is the opposite of that. So we always put our x squared tile up in the top right hand corner and then we put our ones always in the bottom right. So now we're left with these three negative x's and we need to fill in the holes here. So watch now how they fill in the spaces like this and then they fill in the spaces like this and now I have a completed rectangle. So this is the area model that represents the x squared minus 3x plus 2. It's a full completed rectangle and now if we look at the length and the width of the rectangle that gives us the solution to the factoring that we're looking for. So here we have a positive x so I'll put that across the top and then I have a negative 2. So I'll put that there like this and then down the side again I have a positive x and then a negative 1. So I'll put that on. So now the length here is x minus 2 and the width is x minus 1 and when we multiply them out to check our answer x times x gives us x squared, x times negative 1 is negative x, x times negative 1 is negative x, and negative 1 times a positive x is a negative x, and then a negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. So it works out. So our answer here, factoring that trinomial, is going to give us, if we think about the length and the width, x minus 2, times x minus 1. And there, now we've factored that expression using our algebra tiles. Okay, so let's try another one. We're going to do this x squared minus x minus 2 using the algebra tiles again. So I'll clear this out and bring back my multiplication uh, table. Okay, so we had in the problem an x squared a negative x, so I'm using the red again, and then a negative 2. Oops, let's use red because they're negative 2. Okay, so these are the pieces that I have to put into the multiplication uh, chart and arrange them in a perfect rectangle so that I can then get the length and the width of the rectangle. So the x squared always goes in the top left, and then the little ones always go in um, the bottom corner. So whether we do this or this is not going to matter. We'll just place our x's appropriately after. OK, 
Okay, so now you notice that I have spaces here and here for x's, but I only have that one negative x, so that's not going to be enough. So we have to introduce more tiles in this case. When we introduce more tiles, we have to introduce them in pairs because we can't just add more tiles here. That's going to add more to the area, and then that'll change the equation. So instead, we're going to add in a positive x and a negative x because when I add them together, that's a zero. So these are opposites. A positive x and a negative x gives you zero. So if I put these in together, I haven't actually changed the value of the area for the area model. So putting these in together now into the area model, I haven't changed the value, but I've introduced two extra pieces to complete the rectangle here. So now I'm gonna place these in. I wanna bring negative tiles together like this, and then I have the positive one over here. And look at that. Now we've created the complete rectangle for the area model. So now let's see what we have for the length here. We have a positive x for the length, and then we have negative two here. And for the width, I have another positive x, and I have a positive one. So I'll put this here. So now the length and the width of my rectangle for this area is x minus two and the width x plus one. And that's how we factor um, this trinomial. We can check it now to make sure it makes sense. x times x is x squared. Um, we have negative two times an x gives us negative two x. And a positive one and an x gives us a positive x. And then a positive 1 times negative 2 gives us the negative 2. So it does work if we look at it backwards. So let's go back to the trinomial. If we want to factor x squared minus x minus 2, we think about the length and the width of the rectangle, and we get x minus 2 times here x plus 1. And we factored it. Thanks for watching, Mrs. A loves math.